Hey, welcome Sunnyside. Uh, my name is Andrew Cottrell. I'm part of the worship team. And I was asked to, to uh, give my thoughts about the, the D1 today for uh, Romans chapter 6. Uh, D1, of course, is uh, a daily devotional where we cover one chapter, one verse, and, and we give one thought. Uh, so I was tasked with Romans chapter 6. And that, of course, has a very famous verse in the Bible, you know, Romans 6.23, part of the, the Romans road. But just in reading through it, the, the very first verse stood out to me. So I figured I'd share some thoughts on that. Uh, that verse is Romans 6, chapter 1. It says, What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? And that, of course, was uh, it covers a, a lot of Paul's topics. Um, basically, he, he was telling people, you know, as our sin increases, God's grace abounds. It, it also increases to cover our, our sin. And... Um, I take it as a, as a biblical promise. You know, we can't out sin God's grace. Um, but Paul is literally asking the people, should we keep sinning so that God's grace just keeps increasing? Uh, of course, he, he answers emphatically in verse two with a no. That, that's not the case. That's not what we're charged with. Um, that, that's not how it's supposed to work. But I wanted to give my uh, my thoughts on basically, you know, our, our human nature to push boundary boundaries, which uh, I think definitely applies to our uh, sin nature as well. Um, you know, is the gospel just a license to sin? No, absolutely not. Um, I love I love the X Games. It's always a passion of mine. You can find me sitting in front of the TV rooting on some of the, the different greats that have done it, and uh, they really push the boundaries. And I could think of uh, Tony Hawk, you know, landing his 900. I was standing up cheering him on. Uh, Travis Pastrana, you know, kicking out a double backflip on his motorcycle. It's stuff that I never thought those, those boundaries would be broken again. I thought they had pushed it to the limits. Um, I, I could remember my first smartphone, the BlackBerry, and playing with that that phone and thinking, no way, it, you know, they they ever get a better phone than this. Um, we could take a look at the coronavirus and the the uh, uh, just the time and efforts being put into finding a vaccine. You know, we're always pushing pushing the limits, and that's part of uh, our human nature. I think our sin nature also just pushes those boundaries, and. Um, you know, we, we get to read later on in verse 6, you know, even, or in chapter 6, the wages of sin is death. So we know what the, the penalty is for sin. Um, but as Christians, we know that that God's grace covers us in that. I'm, I'm so thankful that God's grace covers covers me no matter what I do. You know, that's that's one of the, the joys of being a child of God is, you know, God's got our back. Um, and and I've, I've heard it said before, how many people would come to know God and God's love if we lived out the, the proof of salvation? And I think that should be a, a challenge for this week. You know, how do we limit sin? How do we live out the proof of salvation? How do we show our love for God? And uh, with that, I guess I'd just like to close us in a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for this, uh, this beautiful day that you've blessed us with. Just thank you for dying on the cross and, and shedding your blood for our sins, Lord. We know that we fail you every day. But please help us to understand our boundaries uh, with sin nature and help us to and give us the, the desires to uh, really show the proof of our salvation to people, to really be that light, that salt, that, that difference, that people could see that, that you love us no matter what, and that your grace covers us no matter what. Just thank you for being our Savior, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, that's it for today. I hope you all have a very great day.